The pandemic has affected the operations of several businesses, including the liquor industry. Distillery Limtuaco, the country's oldest distillery, was not spared. Sa hindi lang ako, lahat kami actually nag-isip din na ano mangyayari sa amin dahil nga sa mga liquor ban. Nag-isip namin na baka mawalan kami ng pasok or baka aantayin ba namin matapos yung pandemic. But they thought of a way to sustain their operations amid the crisis. From making liquors, they shifted to producing a different kind of alcohol, sanitizers and ethyl alcohol. Ako pa talaga nag ECQ nung March. Sa tingin ko lang, parang gut feel ko lang, no? Uh, na magkaka shortage. Pakaramdam ko lang yon. Pinagaarana na namin na paano ba tayo magshift. Soon enough, Distillery Lim Tuaco launched other essential products like soap while continuing its usual business. This is what's left of the calamansi after essential oils are extracted to make a liquor like this. But for the company, why not put the byproducts into good use? That's why they thought of coming up with a product that will be useful amid the pandemic. An antibacterial soap. The process starts by grinding the used calamansi using this specialized machine. It will be mixed with other ingredients and then placed in containers for labeling. Aside from producing a natural product with exfoliating and other properties, wastes generated by the firm are lessened. Not just that, calamansi and dalandan farmers also benefit from it. Kung nakatulong tayo sa tao, Natutulungan din natin yung ating mga empleyado, yung ating mga tawag nga nilang stakeholders, which ating mga supplier, di ba? yung mga farmers natin, mga nagsasupply sa atin ng mga raw materials. Diba? The company plans to sustain its COVID essential product line even as liquor sales are already picking up as holidays near. The hand soap costs from 149 to 500 pesos, while alcohols and sanitizers are being sold from 32 to 550 pesos. These are available on their website as well as in select drugstores and e-commerce platforms. Shaila Francisco, we are One News.